Alright, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up GitHub. Um, I'm using Windows 8. Uh, you can download GitHub for other operating systems, but for uh, for this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you Windows 8 because that's what I have on my computer. So obviously you start by the easiest way is go to Google and type in download GitHub for Windows. So the download's pretty self-explanatory hit the big green button that says download github for windows wait for that to download launch it close your browser now install it's only got about 40 megs to download so this what I'm downloading is basically a client for me to be able to sync up uh, my repositories with my computer so you'll store all your code in re repositories on the GitHub website and their servers and even if you delete them all from your computer they'll still be stored on um, GitHub servers in their repositories so right now I have this um, if you see this folder I have up here it says JavaScript serializer it's some code that I just wrote for today's class and I want to basically add that to one of my repositories so um, I'm going to be showing you how to do that step by step I already have a Git GitHub account so I'm going to log in. Um, you will have to click sign up if you don't have one. That's pretty easy to do. But for me I already have an account so I'm going to log in. Continue. Okay good. So no local repositories found, that's right. So all of my repositories are remote, they're on the GitHub servers. So you can see this glowing little thing here. I click that, and I'm going to say clone. And as you can see, since I logged in to GitHub, it already knows about my repositories. So the one that I'm interested in adding this to is for my web development class. So I'm going to click clone web development. And I'm just going to put put on my desktop, hit OK. And right now it's downloading all the code from GitHub onto my local. So here I can open up web dev on my desktop and I can see here all the code that I have in GitHub. So this is how easy it is. I could go in here and I can change any of this. You know, changing the stuff that you have here it w is the same as just adding new stuff. So for example, I'm going to take this folder, which is a new code that I wrote, and I'm going to copy and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to copy. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it into my web dev folder. That's all I'm going to do. So just because I've put this new folder into my web dev folder, this web dev folder is now um, in the GitHub client linked up to my account. So it constantly, or uh, it, it can scan this for changes and say, oh, something changed. You either deleted something or you added something or you modified something. So it's going to notice that I added this new folder and consider that an add. So if I come up here, you'll notice all of a sudden in, in GitHub it says there's uncommitted changes because I added this new folder. So I'm going to show, and obviously there's a lot of files in there. It says 102 files to be committed. So there's a lot of files in that web or in that uh, new folder that I added. And I'm going to call this, um, I'll just say added JavaScript serializer. Serializer. And you can write whatever you want in here. So the first step is to commit, and that'll happen really fast because this is locally committing those changes to your repository on your computer. And then once you do that, there's a little button up here that says sync. Um, so you can see um, when you click that, it starts grinding. And at this point, it's sending all the changes that you've made locally to your GitHub server online. So as soon as that's done churning, it shouldn't take very long. I'll just open my browser here for a second. So I'm going to actually go to GitHub while that's waiting. The reason my internet's so slow right now is because it's uploading files and uploading usually the ISPs throttle your uploading speed so it brings your connection to its knees. Alright, so that's done. The sync is done, and I'm pretty much done at this point. I can close GitHub. I can come here to the website and browse my web dev repository, and now I can see that folder is now online, JavaScript Serializer, and this is all the stuff that I added. 
so that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how you um, that's how you do it. If you want to uh, just download code without using GitHub, like you know, for for people who aren't really using GitHub, they're just kind of coming to the site and downloading code. You can just go to the repository and click download zip. But you know, for for people who are actual developers using GitHub and they want to put their code here, you don't really need to use uh, the web interface at all. You just use the GitHub client here. So um, that's pretty much it. And you know, you, if you want to work with a different repository, you can do it again. I can clone my C# -sharp repository, put that anywhere I want, or you know, you can even start over. Let me show you how to do that. I could be like, you know what, I'm done with this. Web dev, go away. I'm happy with everything that's uh, uh, online, so I'm out. Totally delete it. So now when I open up GitHub, it's gonna say can't find web dev because I deleted it. I could clone it again or I could just plain old remove it and that's what I'll do. So at any point in time I can click here, clone one of these repositories and put it in any folder on my computer and it'll associate that uh, folder with um, that repository. You can even clone the repository multiple times. You can create three or four or five or however many versions of it um, and, and work with them all at once. So it's really cool, really powerful, very easy. So that's it. That should uh, explain pretty much how to use GitHub to put your code online. And once you do that, um, you could really just, you know, you could have some code in one of your repositories. And as you can see up here in the URL, every time you change directories, the URL changes. So if you have a project that you just want to send to somebody, you can kind of just click on it and email them the URL. Much easier than, you know, zipping up all your files and, and having to send it to somebody. So in the future, uh, you can do that using GitHub.